Today's Sunshine No is titled, The Green-Eyed Monster. Here comes that dreamer, they said to each other. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we will see what comes of his dreams. Genesis 37, verse 19 and 20. When I was a kid, I had a dog named Ginger. She was a very intelligent mix of about a thousand breeds. When asked what kind of dog she was, my dad would say, she's a Heinz 57. Ginger had a hilarious trait that enabled me to exploit the green-eyed monster within her. I would get my cat and place her on my lap. If Ginger was looking, she would sit up very quickly and stare. Then I would start to pet the cat and talk to it. You're my favorite animal in the house. I love you so much. Aren't you just so pretty? Ginger would start to growl. The more I'd fawn over the cat, the more upset Ginger would become. Finally, she'd let out a bark, jump up on my lap, nose the cat away, and start to lick my face. The jealousy was too much. She couldn't handle letting someone else garner the attention that only she deserved. Jealousy is one of the most hideous human responses known on earth. It has caused grief and regret and jail time for centuries. Jealousy is the source of junior high girls' gossip and mean-spirited jokes. It is the genesis of junior high guys' black eyes and fat lips. Jealousy can be a rotten thing. Joseph's brothers were jealous. Jacob didn't help the situation by making his son that coat of many colors. Jealousy ate away at Joseph's brothers every day until they hated their brother so much that they wished him dead. When we act out of jealousy, we presume that God cannot be trusted to do what needs to be done. We presume that we should possess what is not ours. Jealous acts steal freedom, making them the antithesis of love. Jealousy is a green-eyed monster that has no business in the life of someone who is committed to Christ. Are you willing to allow those around you the freedom to choose you or not choose you for who you are? Are you willing to trust God to work in your situation? Here comes that dreamer, they said to each other. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we will see what comes of his dreams. Genesis 37 verse 19 and 20. May God bless you today.